Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. It is November 10, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. The UN makes proposals to the government on demonstrations. The right to life above all. 10th November 2019 2135 Baghdad Today Baghdad, the United Nations Assistance Mission for Iraq, UNAMI, on Sunday, November 10, 2019, submitted proposals to the government on the demonstrations, including exercise maximum restraint and the non-use of live ammunition, in addition to the investigation of abductions. Demonstrations have broken out in recent weeks in Baghdad and other provinces in Iraq, Anami said in a statement. Demonstrators' demands cover many issues, including economic growth, employment, reliable public services, good and fair governance, an end to corruption, and free and fair elections, and just reform of the political system including the amendment of the Constitution. The statement added, it is obviously tangible. The accumulation of frustrations about the lack of progress in the past 16 years, noting that, with the high number of dead and wounded, demonstrators and Iraqi security forces, there is an atmosphere of anger and fear. The Iraqi people cannot afford to be hampered by the past or partisan interests, he said. Time, the risk of kidnapping, spoilers, of peaceful demonstrations is increasing and is likely to hinder attempts at real change. So time is of the essence as well as tangible results. Initially, after consultation with a wide range of Iraqi parties and authorities, including the three presidencies, the Supreme Judicial Council and a number of demonstrators as well as union representatives, the mission proposes the following principles and measures. Principles. The following principles apply to all parties at all times. 1. Protect the right to life above all. Two. Guarantee the right of assembly, peaceful demonstration and freedom of expression as guaranteed by the Constitution. 3. Exercise maximum restraint in dealing with demonstrations, including non-use of live ammunition and prohibition of improper use of non-lethal devices, egg, tear gas canisters. 4. Achieve full accountability for the perpetrators and redress for the victims. 5. Act in accordance with the law, including in relation to public and private property. Measures. Immediate actions. Less than a week. Include. 1. Release all peaceful demonstrators detained since 1 October in accordance with the law. 2. Not to pursue peaceful demonstrators. 3. To initiate a full investigation into the abduction cases, including the use of surveillance camera recordings and to reveal the identity of those behind them. 4. Expedite the identification slash bringing to justice of those responsible for targeting demonstrators. 5. Prosecute and punish those responsible for the excessive use of force and slash or perpetrators of other acts of violence in accordance with the law. 6. Publicly call on all regional and international parties not to interfere in Iraq's internal affairs and respect its sovereignty. Short-term actions, within one to two weeks, include 1. Electoral reform, a unified legal framework with technical support from the United Nations is finalized and submitted shortly to the House of Representatives. Parliamentary procedures will be completed as soon as possible. 2. Security sector reform. Executive Order 237 is implemented in full and without delay. Any weapons outside the control of the state are prohibited. 3. Corruption. The political elite should set an example in the fight against corruption by exposing financial interests inside and outside the country, whether in their own name or under other names. In addition, political parties slash blocks and political currents are abolishing their economic committees. Medium-term actions within one to three months, include, 1. The Constitution. The Constitutional Amendments Committee continues to review the Constitution, with technical support from the United Nations, and submit any amendment to the Constitution for referendum by the Iraqi people. 2. Corruption. 
The Integrity Commission refers corruption cases to the Supreme Judicial Council or the Central Anti-Corruption Court. This court investigates corruption cases at all levels in the country. All officials found to be corrupt are held to account. 3. Enactment of Laws The government sends the following bills to the House of Representatives, which in turn must complete them as soon as possible. A. Uh, where do you get this? B. The Federal Court Act. C. Social Security Law. D. The Housing Crisis Resolution Act. E. Oil and Gas Law. F. Amendment of the Investment Promotion Law and Public-Private Partnership. G. The Council of Ministers and Ministries Law. H. The Law of the Reconstruction Council. Next Article of Interest. Adder. The Stability of the Iraqi Monetary Market is Near. 10th November, 2019. A member of the Iraqi Economic Council Ghadir al Adder, Sunday, near the return of the stability of the situation of the Iraqi monetary market. Adder said in a statement, received, Moazay News, copy of it, the status of exchange and cash will return to normal after the statement of the Central Bank of Iraq, the distribution of shares of specialized companies selling hard currency in the daily auction. Al Adder pointed out that what happened during the last week of the rise in exchange rates of the Iraqi dinar against the US dollar is an emergency and will not last long. Next article of interest. Iranian newspaper, Sadr and Amiri put the option of dismissing the government aside. 10th November 2019 Iranian newspaper, the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al Sadr, and the head of the Fatah alliance, Hadi al Amiri have set aside the option of sacking the government of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, the Khorasan newspaper reported on Sunday. The newspaper said in a report followed by, Information, it seems to be visible that the threats to the government and the political system in Iraq in general began to recede and dissipate after the guarantees of the last religious reference speech. She added that, there are reports of the start of consultations between the leaders of the main political forces in currents, including Mr. Muqtada al-Sadr and Hadi al-Amiri, and the emergence of a trend that puts the option of dismissing the government of Adel Abdul Mahdi, on the basis of the government's commitment to implement its promises to carry out broad economic and political reforms. The paper pointed out to Mr. Sistanism's emphasis on the need for peaceful protests and avoid the use of excessive violence against peaceful protesters and to prevent the internal and external forces riding the wave of protests, and stressed the need for radical reforms. Next article of interest. Mahdi will initiate partial and comprehensive ministerial replacements and may include 10 ministers. November 10, 2019 Baghdad Obelisk Parliamentary Integrity Committee revealed on Sunday, November 10, 2019, the first interrogated ministers inside the dome of the House of Representatives, while showing that the replacement and ministerial change will include 10 ministers in the government of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. Committee member Ali Anasif said in a statement followed by Obelisk that the House of Representatives will begin the questioning of five ministers and will start with Minister of Industry Saleh al-Jubari next Tuesday, pointing out that the process of interrogation will be the decisive in giving ministers confidence or dismissal within the House of Representatives. She added that Abdul Mahdi will initiate partial and comprehensive ministerial replacements may include 10 ministers noting that the ministerial change must be given Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi freedom of choice to move away from quotas. The MP for the alliance Sarin al Arubai, earlier, the possession of his alliance serious files against some of the ministers in the current government, while confirmed the existence of understandings with the alliance on the questioning. Next article of interest. Parliamentary economy. Postponing the opening of the new session of the Baghdad International Fair does not serve Iraq. 10th November, 2019. A member of the Committee on Economy and Investment Riyadh al-Tamimi, on Sunday, postponed the opening of the new session of the Baghdad International Fair to notice another matter does not serve Iraq and its economic and investment reality.
Trade and economic fairs are a golden opportunity for Iraq to strengthen its economy and develop its resources through the signing of agreements with different countries and companies, which are an important step to diversify sources of income and provide job opportunities, Tamimi said in a statement received. The government should expedite and clear steps to implement the legitimate demands of peaceful demonstrators to be a reality felt by the citizen and not to be promises to absorb the anger of the masses, he said. He stressed the need for the government and the Ministry of Commerce in particular to announce a specific date for the opening of the new session and not leave it open, which may reflect negatively internal and external inability to end the legitimate demonstrations to implement constitutional demands. More articles of interest to come. Don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning, the link is in the description panel below. Be sure to tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.